security. Hello and welcome to this overview of CyberGuard anti-malware. Here you're going to learn how to install the program, how to use it and take a look at its unique features. Unlike other anti-malware products, CyberGuard does not distribute your files and does not upload them outside of your system, therefore ensuring your privacy in addition to your security. To start, save the installer and launch it. Once the program is installed, click finish and you're ready to go. Before starting to actively protect your system, on its first installation, CyberGuard will run a learning mode. Learning mode trains CyberGuard to recognize malicious activity by analyzing all activities of your system, such as running processes and network connections. Select the recommended automatic mode to start CyberGuard. Learning mode will take around 10 minutes to complete. And by the way, in the activity tab, you can view useful information about processes in real time, such as which IP addresses the process is connecting to or which files it is trying to access. While the learning process is running, let's take a look at some of the options and settings CyberGuard will offer you. In the Protection Settings tab, you can activate different settings according to your needs. In the whitelist, you will find all your machine's files that the program considers to be safe, while in the blacklist, you will eventually find all suspicious or malicious files. The Quarantine tab shows you all files which have been quarantined by the program. In this section, the files are safe, they are stored and encrypted and cannot infect your machine. Once learning mode is complete, the program will let you know by displaying a protection on notification and you can actively start using the program. So let's look at how CyberGuard actively monitors our processes. We can see this in the activity section where all system activities are monitored in real time. As we can see when opening our internet browser, all is normal. The tabs get filled with all safe running activities. Now, let's get to work and open some malware. Let's open the famous ransomware WannaCry and let's see how CyberGuard immediately and automatically spots and blocks this. As soon as this happens, you get a pop-up telling you a process was blocked. In the activity and actions tab of the program, you can follow all that is going on. And as you see here, we blocked WannaCry. Now on the right side, you can choose further actions such as terminating or quarantining the process. If we want, we can quarantine the program through clicking on quarantine. And that's it, WannaCry has been disabled. But now let's see what happens if we deactivate CyberGuard and launch WannaCry again. Here we go, no protection, and you all know how easy it can be to click on a file, often not realizing it's a harmful process. And sooner than you know, your machine is infected and held ransom. So get your Bitcoin wallet ready and prepare to pay.